Hello and welcome back to Football Daily, where with Arsenal's title hopes teetering on a precipice, we are running through 10 times a title challenge collapsed. 10. Liverpool 2013-14 Where else to start but with that infamous Steven Gerrard slip in 2013-14? With just three games left of the season, Liverpool were in pole position to end their 24-year wait for a Premier League title. They held a three-point lead over Man City, had won 11 games in a row and boasted an attack of Daniel Sturridge, Raheem Sterling and Luis Suarez that couldn't stop scoring. Next up, Brendan Rodgers' side welcomed Chelsea to Anfield. Liverpool dominated the game and should have scored through Mamadou Sacco. But then disaster, 40 yards from goal in the last line of defence, Gerrard slipped in possession, allowing Dembaba to race through and score before half-time. Liverpool couldn't recover and Willian sealed the 2-0 victory at the death, triggering an iconic Jose Mourinho celebration. A Man City win at Everton followed by an implosion at Crystal Palace where Liverpool surrendered a three-goal lead to draw put the Sky Blues firmly in the driving seat and they didn't relent, winning the title by two points. Although they didn't have the biggest lead at the top to begin with, it was easily one of the most dramatic title collapses, and Gerrard still admits that it haunts him to this day. 9. Derby County 2014-15 Next to the Championship, where in 2014-15, Derby County had a true meltdown. Under former England boss Steve McLaren, Derby topped the table with 13 games to go, 5 points clear of their rivals. The Rams had been so formidable that they led the championship three times across the campaign and bolstered their promotion chances with the smart loan signings of Jesse Lingard and Tom Ince in January. Ince went on to earn a Championship Player of the Month nomination that February after five goals in his first three games at Pride Park. But in March, their season started to collapse. Two points from a possible 15, including big defeats to Brighton, Middlesbrough and Wolves, saw them drop to fifth. Disappointing, but not a total disaster. That would come in April, with Derby only winning two of their next six fixtures. Then a 3-0 defeat at home to Reading on the final day of the season condemned them to eighth, out of the playoffs altogether. Over the next few years, the club gambled on mounting another promotion push, but it never materialised. The repercussions of that failure have been sinister, with Derby coming to the brink of liquidation and eventually getting relegated to League One. 8. Manchester United 1997-98 it could be argued that Man United's treble winning campaign of 1999, which remains the only time an English club has achieved that feat, was inspired by disappointment. The previous campaign, Alex Ferguson's men went trophyless, a barely believable feat given that they were 10 points clear of Arsenal on Boxing Day. But four defeats and two draws in their next 10 games, including a 2-0 defeat at Hillsborough against relegation-threatened Sheffield Wednesday, meant the Gunners were just six points behind them and with three games in hand by the time Wenger's men rocked up as Old Trafford in mid-March. It proved to be a nightmare afternoon for the Red Devils, as an Overmars goal from an Anelka flick-on proved the difference and Peter Schmeichel picked up a hamstring injury racing back after a late corner, which ruled him out of the second leg of their Champions League quarter-final against Monaco, which saw them knocked out on away goals. Fergie may have insisted that he didn't think that Arsenal were as good a team as United, but the Gunners won their next eight games to secure the first of Wenger's three Premier League titles by a single point. 7. Arsenal 2002-3 Fast forward five years and after exchanging the title over the previous four seasons, the rivalry between Arsenal and United was at fever pitch. After winning the double the previous campaign, Arsenal had reconsolidated themselves as the best team in the country, having seen United win it three times in a row between 1999 and 2001. And having lured Sol Campbell from Spurs in a highly controversial move, they had got themselves a ready-made Tony Adams replacement, not to mention having Patrick Vieira and Thierry Henry at the peak of their powers. And with Man United having splurged a British record £30 million on Rio Ferdinand, the stage was set for another epic title clash. By early September, Arsenal were in total control, with a 4-1 win against Leeds seeing them break the records for scoring in 47 consecutive games and for going 22 away games without defeat. Leeds manager Terry Venables admitted post-match, United have been exceptional for 10 years, but I've not seen anything as good as that. By March, Arsenal were 8 points clear, and Paddy Power were paying out punters who had backed the Gunners for the title. But four wins in their final nine games, including defeats against Blackburn and Leeds, saw the Gunners relinquish their lead to United. Wenger would go on to win the FA Cup, defeating Southampton in the final, but his side's inability to retain the title for the first time since 1934-35 was a crushing disappointment. 
6. Liverpool 2018-19 Competing for the league title may seem like an increasingly distant memory for fans of Liverpool as they find themselves a massive 27 points off leaders Arsenal at the time of writing, but they deserve enormous credit for making this Man City era of dominance incredibly entertaining. Three times they've hit 90 points with their tally of 99 in 2019-20 only topped by one side in Premier League history and their 97 points in 1819 seeing them miss out on the title by a single point. Coming a year after their Centurion campaign, Pep City were in full flow, winning 14 straight games, scoring 32 goals in those games to pip Liverpool to the post. To anyone who didn't actually follow the season, the fact Liverpool was 7 points clear on New Year's Day could be perceived as a bottle job. But Klopp's men went unbeaten for their final 17 games, drawing just four times in that run. City had to be at their perfect best to hold them off. 5. Norwich City 1992-93 Once upon a time, Norwich City were fighting to be Premier League champions. Not only that, Aston Villa, Blackburn Rovers and QPR were competing for the top 4 too, while Arsenal and Chelsea were content with mid-table mediocrity. No, this isn't a fairy tale, this was the Premier League in 1992-93. English football had just undergone a significant makeover. The Premier League had broken away from the Football League, creating a new lucrative competition, and Norwich City proved quickest to adapt to their new surroundings, building an eight-point lead at the top of the table shortly before Christmas. This was remarkable as the Canaries had been tipped for relegation. But inspired by Mark Robbins and Chris Sutton up front, they maintained their title challenge all the way into April. But defeats to Man United, Tottenham and Ipswich saw their wings clipped at the death and they finished third, somehow with a negative goal difference. Man United ended up as champions, winning their first title since the 60s, and it should not be forgotten just how wild the inaugural Premier League campaign was. We may never see another of its like again. 4. Bayer Leverkusen 2001-2 Over to Germany, where in 2002, Bayer Leverkusen produced a collapse for the ages. Die Werkself were on the cusp of a truly historic treble. They held a five-point league over Borussia Dortmund with three games to go in the Bundesliga, while they had a DFB Pokal final against Schalke, plus a first-ever Champions League final against Real Madrid to look forward to. Yet amazingly, their season would end trophyless. First was their Bundesliga nightmare. A 2-1 defeat to Werder Bremen was followed by a 1-0 loss to relegation-threatened Nuremberg, allowing Dortmund to leapfrog them in the table. They did manage to beat Hertha Berlin on the final day, but it was too little too late. Then came the DFB Pokal. Dimitar Berbatov gave Leverkusen an early lead, but Schalke ended up ripping them apart 4-2. And the final nail in the coffin was Zinedine Zidane's epic volley at Hampton Park, which sent the Champions League back to Madrid. By February the following year, Leverkusen were fighting off relegation. The players are still sitting in the cinema dreaming of last season, announced the managing director Rainer Kalmund. Unfortunately, they haven't realised the film has finished. 3. Man United 2011-12 The classic 2011-12 season is remembered most for the final day drama at Manchester City. A last gasp Sergio Aguero winner was required to seal victory over QPR and secure the Premier League title, having lost their grip on the trophy throughout the match. That moment is top flight's heritage and it had the perfect commentary to match. But what is often forgotten is how Man United blew their chance at winning the title that season thanks to some miserable form across the back end of the campaign. After losing 6-1 at home to City in October, the Red Devils went on a tear of 20 wins in their next 24 matches to move 8 points clear of their cross-City rivals, who struggled to keep pace in that period. Everything changed, however, after a surprise 1-0 defeat to Wigan Athletic in April. That was soon followed by a 4-all draw away at Everton, a game that United had led 4-2, blowing the title race wide open. City took full advantage, winning the second Manchester derby 1-0 at the Etihad to top the table. The Sky Blues' comeback against QPR confirmed United's position as runners-up, leaving Sir Alex Ferguson to admit they had thrown the league away. 2. Arsenal 2007-8 2007-8 was one of just three times in the post highbury era that it genuinely felt like Arsenal could win the league. After 26 matches, the Gunners had only lost once, giving them a five-point buffer at the top of the table. Arsene Wenger's men were peaking at the right time too, collecting 26 points from a possible 30 ahead of a visit to a Birmingham City team destined for relegation. This was supposed to be a mandatory victory for Arsenal, especially so after Birmingham were reduced to 10 men in the third minute, Martin Taylor breaking Eduardo's leg with a horrifying tackle. But rather than give the North Londoners an advantage, they appeared shell-shocked by the incident and left St Andrews with a 2-all draw after conceding a 90th-minute penalty. 
That day at Birmingham was bad. It put insecurity into the team and we were not able to come back, Bakary Sanya later reflected. Sure enough, without their influential star, Arsenal floundered. They drew their next three games against Aston Villa, Wigan and Middlesbrough before suffering damaging defeats to Chelsea and Man United, their main title rivals. With the title gone, Arsenal ended the season in third. 1. Newcastle 1995-96 But nothing will ever top Newcastle's 1995-96 implosion. After two years re-establishing themselves as a top club following four years spent in the second tier, Kevin Keegan's Magpies believed they were ready for a title challenge in 95-96. One defeat in their first 16 league games and 20 wins in their first 26, Newcastle's entertainers of Peter Beardsley, David Ginola and most notably Les Ferdinand were suggesting that hope might not be misplaced. 12 points clear in January and with Man United still recovering from Eric Cantona's Selhurst Park suspension that saw him miss the start of the season and Ferguson's decision to sell Ince, Hughes and Kanchelskis the previous summer to usher in the class of 92, the title looked assured to be heading to the North East. But a run of one win in seven games between the end of February and the start of April, including a 1-0 defeat to Man United, one of Peter Schmeichel's best ever games and a stunning 4-3 defeat at Anfield and Cantona's exceptional form for United, in which he scored five winners in 1-0 wins, proved the difference as Keegan's side fell away and United won the title by four points. So those were 10 title challenges that collapsed. Did you enjoy this video? If so, leave it a like and subscribe to Football Daily if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.